Hey guys, so today I want to share a really amazing keyword research tool and this is one of the most diverse keyword research tools that I have ever used. This is keywordtool.io. Now as I said, it is one of the most diverse. Now let me tell you why. As you can see, it has got Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay, App Store, Play Store, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Etsy, TikTok and Google Trends. So now it has got so many, so many search panels here that you can see all these are basically, basically data. They got so much data. These, all these websites can help you write so much content. If you are a content writer, create so much content on YouTube. If you are create content on YouTube, you can do so many things with just data from these websites that you will never run out of keywords. Now let's just talk about how it works, right? It's actually fairly simple. Let me just click on Etsy, right? Because I know many people are trying to succeed on Etsy and they want to do their own keyword research for Etsy. So let's just see what kind of data it can provide us for Etsy. So this is actually a simple autocomplete tool. So don't get it twisted. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too extraordinary. This is just a simple autocomplete tool. There is a free way to do autocomplete tool. There is a free autocomplete tool for Google also. So I will show you in upcoming tutorial. So today we are going to just do this. But there is a free tool also just FIA. So this is for Etsy, right? So we can go for global or we can type a country. We are going to go with global. Here you can see it is basically asking for the category. I'm going to keep it as all and I'm going to write cats. Right, or I'm going to just write cat. Let's see what kind of stuff we get here. What kind of information is going to provide us. This is absolutely amazing. Now, the one thing that I highly recommend you all to understand about these tools is that they are simple autocomplete tools. So as you can see, it's basically giving us this banner, but you can here you can get the data about the search volume and average CPC and everything. Now, what is this average CPC actually means? On Etsy, there is no average CPC. Basically, there is only either you convert at home. Actually, there is average CPC, but this data is not from Etsy. This data is from Google Ads, which is actually really good. As with Google Ads, you can understand what people are searching for and how much people are already paying for the keywords. All right. So that means if the people are paying higher, that means if you create something, that people are not paying that much money you can say the competition is kind of low or you can say the word is not that specific or people are not interested in advertising and you know there are a lot of factors but here's the problem with this particular tool it is very diverse and it's very useful it is giving you all this this list but the data will be blurred all right so if you want to use this particular tool i highly recommend to use it only to get the keywords out and then you have to do some manual research how much people are basically how many products you get go on etsy dashboard and do your own research but you can see it has given us 172 keyword related to cats and there are other keyword tools also for etsy research and i'm going to show you in the upcoming tutorials but for this it is very diverse so if you go on with the app store right so it provides us the keyword research for app store also all right so let's just see what it got for app store I think it has carried the keyword for App Store too. All right, so we don't have to change the keyword. Yeah, we don't have to change the keyword. That's that's good. So it is giving us cap cut cat. All right, cat games, cat and mouse.io. This is what people are basically searching for on App Store. So this is the information that you can get out of this particular keyword tool it's pretty good if you are only looking for keywords now for all the other data you need to buy the pro version the pro version is kind of on a pricey side if you ask me but uh, if you want to go full time and if you are really really serious about writing content or making content on youtube keyword research is very crucial so yeah that's all there is to it actually as you can see this is annual billing monthly billing 89 dollars per month pro plus 99 and 199 so that's all there is to it i will see you in the next one and i will give you some more research techniques thanks for watching guys thank you